into these. I am the Great British Chocolatier and you're watching Chocolate Plus. Hello and welcome to another episode of Chocolate Plus. My name is Mark aka the Great British Chocolatier and today our chocolate hack for the day is Oreo Bark otherwise known as cookies and cream made with white chocolate and of course the famous Oreos and um, we have a bowl ready and we'll get a, a fork ready too you see today I have a different baking tray I've got the one with the lips on it um, so that we can spread it all over and um, not have anything fall over the sides so, first things first, I'm going to use two bags, as you see, of white chocolate. And just to show you that it takes the same amount of time to melt one bag as it does two bags, as it does three bags, is always the same. No matter how many bags of chocolate you use, it's 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds stir in the microwave. So let's pop them in there and start 30 seconds. And while that's doing, we're going to break up some Oreos. I like to break it in fours, so it's just simple snap to snap. Break it between your, your fingers here and we're just going to spread them out. Of course you can break them up to as, as big or little as you want. There's no, um, there's no set rules. You're just going to break them up and drop them down. Let's get out the chocolate. And as you can see, they've hardly melted. But we've got to stir them around. Counter's clean, that's fine. Pop them back in. Another 30. So we're going to probably do the rest of these, these cookies here. And these are absolutely exquisite. They are one of the fan favorites of Chocolate Plus. Um, I had that last year when I at the Christmas market, I had someone almost drooled in after he had tasted these and came back to the store and said, listen, I just want to say these are just the most amazing um, cookies and cream I've ever tasted. So, I should have got it in writing. But anyway, second round, as you see, they've melted quite a bit. They still have a ways to go. But we're gonna stir and stir. And we stir because we wanna distribute that heat around. You see now we wear the gloves because our hands are touching the food, our hands are touching the chocolate, and we need to be nice and clean. Okay, so I'm going to pop these back in for another 30 seconds and I'm just going to probably do a few more. Like I said, you can use, you can break them up smaller, um, but I like the nice big chunks and then I'm just going to just smush them around. See, look at this. This Oreos is back to front. It happens. Doesn't change the flavor. All right, I think we'll give it that. That was about two and a half rolls, two and a half rolls of of the top of the Oreos. Okay. And now we are gonna stir. Now I'm going to eat my words about no more than three times because for some reason these didn't melt down as much as they should. So what we're going to do, you're going to say, ha, see, now we caught you. Well, like I said, if you have to put them in a fourth time, we are not going to go 30 seconds. We are only going to go um, between 10 to 15 seconds at a time. So just set it for 15, because it does happen um, 
nothing's wrong, nothing's bad, nothing to cause alarm about. It's just that we want to be precautious now, because after the minute and a half has gone by, we're then going to take baby, uh, baby steps now to, in fact, you know, I think that's even, and stir, because that residual heat that's in there will melt the remaining chunks that's in there. And, yeah. All right, now, like I said, just gonna stir around and then we're gonna pour this on top of the whole, um, the whole tree. And then we're gonna get our hands dirty because we're gonna pat around the whole tree, mixing the bark in with the chocolate. And we're gonna need a spatula to get all this chocolate out. So let's remove the fork. Okay, you can use a spoon to don't have to use a fork. I'm just accustomed to using a fork. Put that over there. And now, now when, when I first did this, I didn't make enough chocolate, and that may be the case now, but I have more, because I've been making a bunch of Halloween candy soon. In fact, yep. <laughs> I think I've broken up way more Oreos than I should. But we'll see, we'll see how it goes. See, I'm not accustomed to making small batches, that's what it is. And uh, anyway, we're just gonna massage, massage these into the chocolate, like so. Making sure everything's covered. Now when I first did a, a batch of white chocolate bark. And I did what probably what I did just now. I put too much filling into it. And so I had to scramble to melt another couple of um another couple of um white chocolate and then it was all good. And that's exactly what I've done now. So there you go ladies and gentlemen. Just because I've been doing it for ten years doesn't mean that I'll get everything down to a science. See, so I'm gonna get some more chocolate, change my gloves, and um, hopefully this won't set up quick and quick, because, um, all right, I got this, I'll be right back. Okay, let's get some new gloves. All right. So I can't put this back in the microwave, not with the um, Oreos already. But this is why you don't panic, you just move on. I mean, I can squish this down and it'll be fine, not a problem. But I'm just going to not leave that real quick. Because I think I made, I think I made um, a too many Oreo. I, I put too many Oreos in here. So I can break this up again, not a problem. And this is a good thing actually, because it can show you that if you do go heavy on the filling, we can break this all up again and then I fix it. So it's all gonna be good. I'm not gonna worry, I'm not gonna stress it. Same process, stir, stir, stir. Put them back in. So when you're making a small batch, the key is just do one line of uh, Oreos and then you're not gonna have a problem. So this, this is gonna make quite a lot. In fact, it's probably gonna make you a little bit more than this tray can hold. But we're good. We're gonna be good. Because we're good. Now how many times did I say that? I don't know. Maybe I'll say it in the comments um, later on. Up there, but please bear with me. See now, I'm chocolate everywhere. It's all good. So I'm trying to. I mean, I can't. I can't speed time along because thirty seconds is thirty seconds. <laughs> but 
But it's gonna taste good no matter what. We're gonna get we made a bit of a mess, but we're good. Um I'm gonna get my hands in here and mix it all up a whole lot easier um once that's done melting. Cause this as you see it's starting to set up a bit because it's it's a little chill in here. And of course the cookie helps it to cool down as well. So alright. You know, back in the day, they used to say, oh, here's one I made earlier. Well, I don't have any of that. I don't have anything I made earlier. I have what I'm making at the moment. So, so if you haven't already, and if you're watching this and haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And you're watching it, hit that thumbs up, that like button on there, and uh, hit that notification bell, because it'll tell you every time a new video pops up, on the, on the channel. Okay, now it's gone three bouts of 30. We're now gonna hit 15 seconds at a time. Um, so I wanna get it, I wanna get it nice and heat to go. I gotta melt the chocolate that's, that's set up on here now. But we're gonna save it. We're gonna save it because cookies and cream is definitely, definitely worth the save. And all chocolate needs to be saved. So, um, but there we go. Again, this this is now. It's going to be one of those days because <laughs> fifteen seconds didn't do much to this. Oh, I don't we just love it? We love it. It's all good. Fifteen seconds more. Ah, okay. We got this. Don't worry, don't worry everybody. This is gonna be good. It's gonna it's gonna all work out, don't you worry. Um we're gonna get the chocolate melted good enough. We're gonna get this um from the chunks that it is. No, I'm making a mess. I'm touching the chocolate. Um there we go. But this happened to me only once before, and of course now it happened on camera. And there we go. Gonna get those few chunks out. And what I might now do is put it in again. Cause there's my theory you have that don't matter how many bags it's still the same. For some reason this didn't happen this time. But it's all good. But 30 second increments. After the three times the 30, you're gonna go down to 15 seconds and then even maybe 10 but you really don't want to push it too much because you can burn and, and scorch the chocolate. But you can, you can tell, see? If it's not nice and soft, you know you've got to put it in, but you've got to put it in, I'm talking too fast. You've got to put it in um, at smaller times. All right, now let's try this again. Let's get this chocolate all in there. And it is gonna help melt what's on the table already. Like so. And of course, like I said about the bowl, you can lick the bowl out, give it to your, your child. You can lick it out yourself. Or, like I did the other day, I made some hot chocolate with the remaining chocolate that's in there. Okay, so now we're just gonna Smush this up. That melted chocolate is gonna help with the chocolate that's on the table. And you're like, man, this is such a mess. Well, this part making bark is a mess, but it's all good. It's a good mess because it is gonna work out um, all in the end, I promise you. So we're gonna, like we did before, you're gonna now pat it down. I'm trying to get all on the bottom here. And then we're gonna just go to all the corners and the edges and then we got this. See? It's working out even now, all in our favour. And of course we want to cover all the cookie, all the Oreo, spread it around like so, trying to get it as even as possible. 
like so. Making sure you're smishing everything. That's what I like about the tree, because I can't turn the countertop, but I can I can turn the tray around. And this is going to be cookies and cream to the extreme. All right. Okay. That's good. And now it's going to be nice and thick. So I, I could have put this on a bigger tray because it's definitely um, going to be a nice chew, that's for sure. All right. So now that that's all done, I'm just going to pat the top like so, giving it texture. I do have a bigger tray, but I'm just going to work with what I got now. So it looks like in some places it's kind of almost a quarter of an inch six, so it's going to be a nice bite of a cookie of chocolate bark. Sometimes bark I think is way too thin. It's like, well, you know, it tastes great, but I want a bit more of a chew. This one's definitely got that. Okay, so bark is not soft and smooth. It's little textures, that's why we pat it down with our fingers, giving it a, a rough exterior. And again, while incorporating all the chocolate that we can over the Oreo. And that's it. And then this goes into the refrigerator for about 10 minutes. And then we're gonna take it out and we're gonna cut it up with a pizza cutter. I should look over you because you're not dead here, you're over there. Excuse me. So I'm gonna take these gloves off, put this into the refrigerator, and then we're gonna cut it up. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Hold on. Okay, and we are back. Put some more gloves on. And it's nice and firmed up. Looking good. So now you know that even I have some issues, trouble. Not just trouble getting gloves on, but sometimes I um, need more chocolate and I gotta... And, but that's good, because it's good for you to see. Don't panic, you're just gonna melt more chocolate. If not, smush down what you got. And um, okay, the um, piece of cutter's not in there, so I'm gonna roll it out. It's in there. I'm gonna go get it. It's in the dishwasher. So, let's just put some of this down on the counter. That's why I'll be right back. Okay, now thank goodness it's all nice and dry. Because I um, so now I'm going to take this out of here. I mean, I can let me see, I'll cut it in here. So we're going to go for about two, two inches. Um, I'm going to go for about two inches um, width, but that's entirely up to you. So I should have shown you that before. Look at that, doesn't that look absolutely wonderful? Okay, and now we wanna go again about two inches or so in the other direction. Again, you can eyeball it. Um, doesn't have to be exact. And that's that done. Let me get our I should have I should have been ready, it should be ready. Okay, put it on top of there and let's lift this up a bit. Look at that. See? Nice smooth bottom. And I'm just going to load this up with the chocolate bark. Oreos, cookies and cream, 
as I call this, or Oreo bark in white chocolate. Contain this stuff. You know, this stuff is is, is something else. It takes you to another dimension. Um, and look, I mean, just look at that. This is going to be a whole mouth. In the comment section, tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. Give me some ideas, some things that you've tried yourself. Maybe if you did throw it, um, try it yourself, throw up a picture if you can. I don't think you can. But you can tell me something that you tried that did or didn't work. But <clears throat> excuse me, share, like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. And there's definitely more chocolate coming down the pipe. I try to get a video every, one video at least every week, around the weekends. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time. Pieces here. And um, we don't throw out the crumbs. The crumbs we're going to eat a little later. So let's just pile it all up there. Why not? It's all good. And look at that. One heaping pile of cookies and cream. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment in the comment section. Tell me what you like, tell me what you didn't like. Give me some ideas, some things that you've tried yourself. Maybe if you did it, throw it, um, try it yourself. Throw up a picture if you can. I don't think you can. But you can tell me something that you tried that did or didn't work. But <clears throat> excuse me, share, like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. And there's definitely more chocolate coming down the pipe. I try to get a video every, one video at least every week, around the weekends. Um, so thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you next time.